back in the Honda Civic EK4 and we're going to be doing our first modification on this car. I've been reading all the comments and everything that you guys have been telling me to do with this specific build. And I want to tell you guys that we're going to be doing a track Kanjo Racer build for the EK4. And I'm honestly super excited and I think it's going to really showcase what the B series motor is all about, especially in this EK platform. So we're going to keep it naturally aspirated for the time being and see what we can extract out of this platform because I think it's already a very potent package. And being that it's got the B16A engine, you've got VTEC already in it. It's just a true 90s experience when you're driving this car. And before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to Absolute Enthusiast for helping me sort out club registration on this vehicle. We're going to be doing a massive giveaway later on in this video, and you guys don't want to miss out so on it. So join me guys, as we get a set of brand new semi-slick tyres fitted onto the EK4. It's going to completely change this car. So if you guys are liking this content, please consider subscribing to the channel and let's get it. Alright guys, let me introduce to you my new big boys for the EK4. These are the Nankang NS2Rs and they're actually a really good and affordable budget semi-slick tyre that is effectively half the price of an AO52 or an 808R. I was looking at competitors for this particular tyre and I don't think they're worth twice the money of what this tyre offers especially because I'm still new with the EK4 and I think it's going to be a really awesome tyre to set a baseline track time for the car I haven't even done a track day with it and these are just going to be a huge upgrade for the car whatever way you look at it I think it's going to be really cool to learn with the Civic over time using the NS2R and to see how the car has progressed over the course of the build. So with this particular set of NS2Rs, they're 205, 45, 16s and they fit really nicely over the standard NK Circle 7 spoke NK Circles 7 spoke wheels. Hopefully it fits nice and tight and it doesn't scrub too much because they are a really thick sidewall. I think it looks really cool, especially when you look at the overall grip pattern. I think it's going to be epic guys and it's really going to complement the look of the EK. I can't wait. So let me show you guys the current tyre situation on the NK wheels. They're literally out of tread. I have no idea about the manufacturing date of these tyres. I'll try and find it. But they look ancient. They're Momo tyres and I don't know but honestly there's literally no tread left. And these are economy tyres. They're not going to be good on track or even street. So I can't wait to upgrade from these tyres to these Nankang NS2 tyres. guards rolled but hopefully it doesn't do too much damage but I mean it just looks so racer and I really love that about this car. So for the lug nuts on the EK4 I've just gone to take some of my old Project Kicks R40 lug nuts. They're actually a really good lightweight track setup. This is the NS2R tyre mounted up to the NK circles. They're a rotational tyre so they can only roll one way. If you see this yellow circle that means that this is specifically for the left hand side of the car. And so if we run out of tread on the front end, we can actually flip them with these ones. Because it's a front wheel drive, it's going to wear out way quicker up there at the front. So now we're going to go get the car aligned. Hopefully we can get some camera adjustment out there because it is a really tight fitment and it's probably going to rub. I need to get these guards rolled really quickly because it's probably going to tug on these guards. because there are no adjustable camber arms and that's going to be something that we're going to address because we don't want to wear the tyres unevenly at all. Up here with the front end, it's all honestly perfect. It's exactly what we will want for track to start off with. Later on we can look at possibly upgrading the camber arms but 
Currently, it's really good for what we want it for, so I'm really happy about that. Guys, we just got ourselves a little meal. This is a little barn me from Fuktan here in Richmond. As you can see, I've got the EK4 parked up beside me, and we've got the Nankang NS2R semi slicks fitted. It looks like such a race car now, and it really exudes that Kanjo Racer vibe, which is really, really cool. And I can't wait to go for that first drive in this car. It's currently actually completely filthy. When we picked it up at SIVA the other day in the reveal video, it was bucketing down rain, and the car actually hasn't been washed since then. So first up, we're gonna go wash this thing at one of the local car washes at BP. Hopefully it looks a little bit better. I know the car is a little bit rough around the edges, but that's what you want for a project car, and especially for a build like this. I don't really care too much about the condition of it. It's just about enjoying it and driving it and just having a blast. So then we're gonna go for the first drive, but I have a feeling that this car might scrub a whole lot. So let's go and smash down the screw and let's get into it. Because of COVID restrictions here in Melbourne, Australia, they've even shut down the manual hand car wash. The only thing open is actually this quick and clean. And I've got one at home, but I just want to get this thing done. It looks so filthy. I guess this is also going to be a good test of either these laser washes actually work. Whilst this car is being washed, I think it's a good time to talk to you guys a little bit about the EK4. It might be a little bit loud, so please excuse the noise. But I was at a workshop before that helped me supply, fit, balance and align my car. And I can't actually mention any of the people that work there or the business themselves because they've got a contract within their company that doesn't allow them to have any sort of promotion whatsoever. But they really helped me out, so huge shout out goes to the boys. You guys know who you are. So the car is a little bit wet right now. Surely that's not going to affect my little... Okay, that is a whole lot of scrub. <laughs> it's a quite a steep incline. Yeah, okay. I don't think this first drive is gonna work out that well. When this car encounters inclines or little dips like that, it's just a bad time. And you guys probably heard that already. It's very painful to listen to. So there's a little bit of traffic here. And you guys can probably hear a little bit of rattling going on. The double din system is missing in the car currently because the previous owner kept it. And because there's no unit actually installed, it's just a little bit loose and rattling. With the alignment, the tires fitted, the car drives so straight. And it's just really nice. It feels really well sorted, especially for a car being this old. Heel and towing works well. It's just scrubbing a whole lot. It's definitely not a pleasant noise, but when you get on VTEC, it pulls very strong, and that's really surprising. Okay, it's just scrubbing central. <laughs> I don't know if I can go for this first drive to the way I wanted to, but yeah. So I guess this is a little bit of a first drive gone wrong because I honestly don't want to push it too much. We definitely got to get these guards rolled ASAP. So I found this place on Facebook Marketplace. They're called Continental Marambina and they do guard rolling services. So I've just hit them up and they've actually got a spot to do guard rolling for the EK4 today. So we're going to go head over because it's really, really bad. Alright guys, so the situation with the EK4 is that it has to be here for the next three to four hours and unfortunately I have to be somewhere right now during this time and I can't get the full footage of the car's guards being rolled and I'll just show you really quickly whilst I'm here the condition of the guards. Don't know if you can see that but they are pretty mangled up. We definitely need to get them rolled. Also reasonable, it definitely needs a little bit more. Just the front here, this is also completely gone. And the rear is in desperate need of a roll. So the situation is that 
All four corners need to be completely rolled, especially the rears. Without the camber arms, it definitely needs a good solid roll. And if I'm gonna upgrade the tires for semi-slicks or wider wheels for track purposes, or even on the street, it's essential that you get your car's guards rolled. All right, guys, we just got back to Continental. We're gonna go check out the EK4 after the guard roll, and it's looking pretty solid. Let's check out the condition of the guard. So this is the front one, it didn't really need too much. However, it's completely flat now, which is so awesome. I can't believe how tight they got that. That was a really good job. Let's check out the rears. Oh, you've got that golden hour lighting on that rear section there, that looks sick. This thing was completely munted. That is really nice and tight and flat. Yeah, and there's no cracks on the paint actually, which is good. So this is the side that is scrubbing the most when driving the EK. But having a look at it, they've actually flattened it really nicely. Hopefully that doesn't scrub anymore. That's an area of concern and I'm definitely going to order a set of rear camber arms. Just the front here, it's not as tight as the other section, but I'm sure this is gonna clear. However, I'm really happy with how the guard roll has come out. So if you guys are looking for a guard roll, maybe check out Continental if you're looking for a quick service here in Melbourne. I honestly just looked at it on Facebook Marketplace and I saw that they were offering it at a very good price. So decided to check it out with the EK4 and I don't exactly have the most experience with guard rolling. I think it takes a lot of time to get it done correctly for your car. A lot better than myself buying the kit doing it and then screwing it up and cracking the paint. So let's take this thing out for the very first drive. And hopefully there's gonna be no more scrubbing and we can just enjoy this EK4 at long last. It's been a long day running around town and honestly, I'm really stoked to drive this thing without any more problems, I hope. All right, first drive, take two. Let's pray that this thing doesn't scrub anymore. Honestly, it might be a bad experience, but we'll find out. Okay, let's see how we go, guys. So far, so good. You still got that rattle that's going on in the cabin. Oh yeah, guys. It's definitely not scrubbing. <laughs> and I'm pushing it fairly hard but this car still being in it's very close to its stock standard form it's just a riot oh i love it look at that it just hugs the pavement these new tires it has really transformed this car obviously i'm not pushing it to the limits but i can really feel a sense of grip and it really feels hunkered down to the road Honestly, once lockdown ends, I'm so excited to take this car out to the track and experience it for what this car is. You know, it's still so close to its factory form. And I'm really enjoying it. This car is still really new to me and I've only driven it. Maybe this is the second time apart from picking it up. <laughs> There's definitely a learning curve in all of these cars that I have to learn to drive but I'm very happy about the EK4 and I know the condition of it cosmetically is a little bit on the poor end however driving this thing and from the inside it's a whole lot of fun golden hour right now and I got some really cool shots of the EK4 with the new tires. I think it's really coming together. I've got my good mate Tom over here from Absolute Enthusiast. How you going man? Hey, Good hey, seeing you again. Yeah. So if you guys don't remember, I've done a video on his WRX STL with the EJ207. Such a stunning car. The blob eye is honestly one of my favorites. And Tom has helped me out so much with getting club registration sorted for both my EK4 and the EG Civic, as I mentioned previously before. So yeah. you guys at AE have been holding it down for me. And I honestly can't thank you enough. So it's going to be really awesome to see the partnership that we're going to be having yeah. with this giveaway. So Tom, can you tell us a little bit about Absolute Enthusiasts? I know you guys are a not-for-profit. You don't do this for money. And 
It's essentially for the love of cars, right? Yeah, yeah, and of course the community. Uh, we have optional cruise days where we can catch up with all of our members. Uh, that's awesome. I can't wait to take the EK4 to the track days. Yes. That's going to be epic. Yeah, of course. Are we going to see you in your STI? Of, of course, yeah, as soon as, as, soon as oh, we can get there. Hopefully I can beat you. <laughs> it probably won't, honestly. <laughs> this thing is so slow. Uh, but yeah, and you guys donate to what, Headspace as well? Is that right? Yes, oh, yes, nice. yes. We uh, donate all our proceeds to Headspace. So it's essentially like for a good cause. Yeah, exactly. And because of that, we're going to be working together to do a giveaway. So if you guys want to take part in this giveaway for a year's worth of club registration on your vehicle, all you got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, head on over to the Absolute Enthusiast page on Facebook and make sure you're following that page. And that's it. You guys go in the running to win a year's worth of registration. If you guys want club rego, you know, it's such a unique way to get your car registered on the road. So thanks again, Tom, for hooking it up. Of course. Cheers, man. See you, buddy. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure to smash that like button. In the comments below, tell me what you think about the EK Civic and other things that you want to see me do to the vehicle moving forward. And as well as that, consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now. Hey.